Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Miriam Khan. First, the headlines. Foreign Minister has reiterated Pakistan's commitment towards the peace and stability in Afghanistan. Presidential election will be held tomorrow to elect the 13th president for the next five years. In occupied Kashmir, the Kashmiri's leader has urged the Human Rights Commission and other international organizations to take serious note of the human rights violation in the territory. In Libya, 400 prisoners have escaped from Ain Zara prison following announcement of state of emergency in Tripoli. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has reiterated Pakistan's commitment towards the peace and stability in Afghanistan. He was talking with the Afghan Foreign Minister Slahuddin Rabbani, who made a telephone call to him today. Both sides agreed on continued cooperation under Afghanistan-Pakistan Action Plan for Peace and Solidarity. They also agreed to resolve security issue concerning Pakistan's consulate in Jalalabad. Afghan Foreign Minister congratulated Shah Mahmood Qureshi on his appointment as a Foreign Minister of Pakistan and expressed the greeting and the best wishes of the government and the people of Afghanistan for Pakistan. Slahuddin Rabbani said that he looked forward to strengthening Pak-Afghan bilateral relationships. Pakistani Foreign Minister said as close neighbors, peace and prosperity of the two countries are interlinked. He highlighted the need to work together for achieving lasting uh, regional peace. The two leaders have agreed the next round of APAPPS would be soon held in Islamabad. They also welcomed the holding of joint Pak Afghan Ulema conference in Islamabad, the dates for which are being finalized. Shah Mahmood Qureshi requested the Afghan government for restoring the previous security arrangement existing till 28th of August 2018, so that the consulate general normal functioning could be resumed at the earliest. A three-member bench of Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice Mia Saqib Nisar has ordered a complete inquiry into the incident of maltreated method out by the police officials to the Khawar Manika's family. The Apex Court said that the action will take against the police officials found involved in the maltreatment. The bench said that the incident cannot be tolerated. The Chief Justice in his remarks said police will feed from political influence through reforms. Presidential election will be held tomorrow to elect the 13th president of Pakistan for next five years. Arif Alvi of Pakistan Tariq Insaf, Etizaz Asan of Pakistan People's Party, and PMLN backed Molana Fazur Rahman are vying for the seat. A joint session of the parliament will be held at Parliament House in Islamabad tomorrow, in which the member of National Assembly and Senate will exercise their right to vote. Voting will be held through the sacred ballot. Similarly, provincial assemblies will hold the session tomorrow for the election. Polling will begin at 10 a.m. and continue till 4 p.m. All of the four uh, all-out arrangements have been finalized for smooth electoral process at Sindh Assembly Building in Karachi for the election. The control of Sindh Assembly is being handed over to the Pro Provincial Election Commission of Sindh today. Re-election will be held in constituency number PK23 Shangla on 10th of this month due to low women voters at turnout. According to Election Commission of Pakistan, polling will be held under its supervision and notification has been issued in the regard. In occupied Kashmir, the joint residence leadership has demanded a high level of probe into the plight of Kashmiri's prisoners in various jails in and outside of the territory. The leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwais Umar Farooq, and Mohammad Yasin Malik in a joint statement issued in Sirinagar condemned the inhuman treatment meted out to the pro-freedom leaders and activities at the hands of the Indian jail authorities. In Libya, 400 prisoners have escaped from Ain Zara prison following the announcement of a state of emergency in Tripoli to protect the civilians, a public and a private properties and vital institutions. According to the local police, 39 people have been killed in clashes between the rival militants in Tripoli. 
And that's the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch the live video streaming or, of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.